been out here for 26 days. And listening to everyone's stories, their accomplishments, their struggles, their dreams, has changed my perspective on the world. That's been priceless. I don't think anybody would have picked this as the final three. I couldn't have done it without you two. Thanks, Ben. I think every single one of us in this final three could win the game. So it's intense, it's exciting, but it's also really, really scary because tonight, the jury has all the power. Beyond the Jury is one of the most powerful things in the game. Tonight, we decide the sole survivor who deserves to win the million dollar prize. What did you do? How did you utilize us or not utilize us to get past us? Wow! Oh my God! The best part about the final three morning is the feast. Cheers to the final three of Survivor 46! Woo! 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 Oh my God, so good. Guys, we're eating like humans again. I'm chilling hard today. But tonight, I have to give the performance of a lifetime. My game was a game of honesty built around being myself and relying on my social cards. Everybody called me a vibe person. Tonight is about showing that a vibe or chillin' isn't about being one-dimensional. It's not me using it as a gimmick. It's about showing I played a hard game from day one. Ben outwitted, outlast, outplayed us. The game he played was to rock out and fly underneath the radar. If he can articulate that he was behind moves, he could receive Q's vote. Ben shreds, Ben rips, Ben rocks. That's who Ben is. He's a social threat playing an emotional game. That really worked for him, but it's outwit, outplay, outlast, not outlove. I came out here to have the adventure of a lifetime, to make new friends, and to play a good game. I came out here have the adventure of my friends, to make new friends, and to win a million dollars. My game has been about adapting and knowing when to sit back and when to step up. I had a fake idol play. I was a huge part in taking out the biggest threats in the game. And I beat Liz in fire making. My biggest challenge tonight with the jury is that I've written a lot of their names down. <laughs> I don't think anybody's holding back tonight. I know I'm not, like guns are blazing. I know my story's better than Charlie and Ben. It's just about how I sell it. Kenzie's social game was brilliant. I don't think there's a single person who disliked her or didn't get along with her, but I want to hear from her specifically what moves she made. You have to have played the game to earn my vote. Kenzie is somebody who cares about people, and I do believe that that's why she lasted so long in the game. Friendship aside, gameplay at the forefront, I deeply feel that she's the best candidate right now. I had power in the game to send home who I thought I had power in the game to send home or to work with who I thought was going to be able to carry me forward another vote. I played a very strategic game worthy of the title of Soul Survivor. I built alliances constantly. I never closed a door to anyone. I've always made sure that I put myself in a position where I was safe, but I also had power. But a lot of what I did was in the shadows. Tonight, I want to pull back the curtain on what I've done. The biggest hurdle is, what the heck is the jury thinking of me? Charlie has done a good job of having his finger on the pulse. And he's also been winning immunity challenges. And so he has potentially a story to tell that is worth a million dollars. Charlie and I worked together so long that I'm pretty sure I know all of his moves, except when it came to him trying to take me out. But my criteria is not friendship. I want to make sure that the person I write down tonight deserves this money. Is there anything on your survivor bucket list you didn't get to do? Uh, win sole survivor? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> not yet. That one's still up for grabs. There's always a chance to change the jury's mind. Every single person can sway me with what they have to say. It's not won yet. You can go in and change mine. So don't blow it. I'm not just going to hand money out. You need to have done something. If you can't connect the dots for me, I can't give you my vote. What did you do? Tell me that and stand on it. If you can do that, you'll get my vote.